Hello, I'm Franklin Marshall III. And this is Cyrus, and this is the podcast where we interview people with podcasts. All right, <laughs> episode four. Wow. Four, We're here. Four We're rocking episode, it. Season two, episode four. Amazing. We're almost halfway. It's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. You know, I'm happy to be here with uh, L- Lumberman from Anthropology. Uh, I, I, I made a real conceited effort to be more fashionable. You look like you work at Home Depot. This, this is fashionable. Yeah, no, at Home Depot. This is what like a, like a someone like a city person's interpretation of what like a daily uh, everyman. I'm out. way more fashionable than that. I mean, I don't know about that. Yeah, I think. I so. think one of the things that really surprised me from the first episode season of the podcast uh-huh. is that no one offered to have sex with me after watching all those episodes. Well, why is that surprising? I think it was just such a great funny episode. I've, uh, there was so much, so many hits. So I was like, I don't see any surprise. Uh, in I, fact, that makes sense to me. Then I mean, that's because you have little faith, and like you need to have higher expectations. I, I'm surprised that uh, I got one person to even say that I was cute. Oh yeah, you do have a fan, and I think it's a real hey, person. Hey, you know, I got a couple more yeah, than you know just what? one fan. You know what? I I, I saw the person and I, I checked them to make sure they were real. You did? Yeah, I was like, let me see this person's real, because I was like, because yeah. you, I'll be honest, I, I come, I thought be I was scammer. gonna get. Because you see, you have a scammable face. Like, if I was going to scam someone, I would scam someone like you. Uh, I'm scammable. And I look out for my boy. Like, I was like, I, yeah. frankly, I feel no, sometimes I, protected I, of you. Honestly. I look out for you, too. Yeah. So I looked, I think the person's real. Like, I hide in the bushes outside your apartment. I look out for you. Thank you. You know what? I'm not even worried about that. I know it's not sexual. So no, I like I'm that. protecting you. Yeah, I like that. That's good. I wish, you know, the girls that I do that with would see the same thing, that I'm protecting them. Yeah. You, you know, know, if I'm in the bushes and I text you, hey, I'm outside in the bushes, that just means like, you know, I'm like a cop car doing circles. Yeah. You know, you know, people pay a lot of money. for the, And I'm doing it for, for free. free. Yeah, pro bono. It's unbelievable. You're, you know, you're protecting women. I'm not respected. Women. Yeah. yeah. You know who else wasn't respected? Rod, Rodney Dangerfield. And you know what? Maybe, maybe I'm, I'm like a miniature Rodney Dangerfield. Yeah. So. Speaking of a celebrity guest, well, who, is, who is our guest today, Franklin? Well, I try, you know, since we're, we're lucking out, you know, getting people. Yeah. And, and I was going over our last season, and there was this a moment where you said, you know, I asked you, I said, hey, Cyrus, what's your dream sponsor? Hmm. And then I said, you know what? What if I got a sponsor on on the show? And I tried to get my dream sponsor, hmm. uh, and, and I couldn't find the contact information. But I did find Four Locos contact information. Oh, yeah. Well, where was it? Did you just message them on LinkedIn or was it like a real contact info? Yeah, no, on, on their uh, contact on website. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't get an email back. Shocker. <laughs> Why do you say shocker? <laughs> I mean, he's just, hey, Four Loco, come on the show. Like, what, what was your email to them? You know what? I asked you off camera, off the, I said, Cyrus, I don't want to keep, you know, not having guests. Tell me what I need to say to these people. And you just said, Franklin, trust yourself. Go with your gut. And that's what I did. Oh. I went with my gut. I trusted myself. I said, listen, my friend loves Four Loco. He yeah. loves eating there. And I said, oh, I raced it because I remember yeah. it's a drink. Yeah. And I said, he loves drinking your, your stuff. He even was supportive of that incident where you guys were in a little trouble. Yeah. So we want to get you on and, and lift you up. And maybe you could lift us up at the same time. Yeah. Um, and maybe we could drink it on, on camera. You know what? Um, you should I have did brought this up, for you. Yeah, you, you, you should have, one thing you should have brought, you should have brought up that you bought me a Four Loco Fleshlight. Oh, I did. And I, you know what? And I've never used it because I respect the brand so much. You, you know, I, I really did buy him. Yeah, I have it. We have a video of it. Yeah. In fact, and we'll, we'll put that on we'll, our- We'll splice it in. On our social medias. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, this was Beautiful my, gift, I would say. It really was. This shows you how much I love him and yeah. know him because uh, that's something he would use. And, and I, didn't, I, I wouldn't use that out of respect. Honestly, I thought about using it, but I had to clean it myself afterwards. And I was like, yeah. I, I, that's too much. Yeah, well, I would love to just get Four Loco in the room to talk about all this. Uh, yeah, we could be a great partnership. Is there any way we can get them to sponsor us? That's a great question. Well, hey, uh, fans out there, Maybe do some Googling, chat, yeah. GPT, blah, AI, Elon, blah, blah, Bing, all the things. If you or any of your loved ones work at Four Loco Incorporated, send them our way. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Yeah. 
All right, let me just start with this. Start and then, with some beautiful uh, things. You can go on with your stupid stuff. My stuff's really it's in- interesting. It's cutting you, edge. Never I'm brought, using new technologies. You haven't brought one intellectual just, thought on this you, podcast First off, ever. I, multiple, Nothing you, intellectual. You just read the Wikipedia page feel, for video games the last no, podcast. No, I feel like so I'm on Sesame Street me. with you. you know, I have philosophical questions about philosophers. And no, the I'm questions, the philosophical and you one. And you didn't even respond to them. You just yeah, you I rammed res- namely. That's not true at all. I responded. You were like, you didn't take them seriously. I could see in your eye. You couldn't even... You couldn't even fan what I was, you well, you're right. I didn't take them seriously. You weren't nothing serious fan, comes you out of your mouth. You're not a fan of what you're, I was talking you're about. You're not a fan of being a fan of anybody. We're going to read the you Wikipedia know, page for, uh, of books next? What are we out there? The, shut your slut <laughs> mouth. <laughs> you dirty, dirty <laughs> man. You dirty whore. Okay. What, what, what do you got? Shut, shut, a shut nice up. purple card. What is all that? Right, all right. You, you, all right. I know you feel... I've read this quote online. Okay. From like one of those... Uh, self-help gurus. Yeah, I love those. I know you feel down, but get up and be thankful. Uh, Cause some people out there literally can't get up. And you know what I said to that? I said, "Then buy Viagra, idiot." Yeah, there's a lot of solutions to get I mean, up now. You, you know, got wheelchairs, take an elevator, rascal scooters. <laughs> yeah. Well, why, why can't you get up? Take a plane. Yeah. You, you, you know, buy some stilts. Look at Stephen Hawkins. He got up and he couldn't even move. He. What's your excuse? What are you talking about? He can never. He was stuck to a chair. How did he get up? He was up off the ground, moving. He was uh, stuck to it. What, what? That's up. No, that's not. Down is when you're on the ground, unmovable. You're in a you're in a wheelchair and you're moving the wheelchair with your mind. You're up. I'm, I'm, no, that makes no sense. That makes perfect sense. How did how how are you up if you're in a chair? That's that's sitting. You're down. down. Is there's beneath you? Down. You lie on the floor. You're down. If you're on the ground or you're in a chair, you're down. If you're moving, you're up. No, I, I'll make this very clear. If you are on the ground, laying down, sitting down, or if you're in a chair, sitting down or laying down, that's down. If you're standing up, that doesn't make any sense. I, if your dick is like this, right? It's not about dicks. It's about people. No, no. But it's a good analogy. Yeah. Flash it down. Okay. Boop. Up. Same thing. Stephen Hawking. He's Minus, moving. He's, How can you say he's down if he's moving? No, he's moving with his mind. So yeah, he's, he's moving. A, he's like a flaccid dick in a wheelchair with the mind power. That, once you, that makes you move. That makes you moving. How many miles does an electric car get? Not enough for me to want an electric car. <laughs> That's how many. All right, check this out. Uh, a pregnant, uh, a preg, pre, uh, a pregnant medieval woman, uh, gave birth in her grave. That sounds like the start of a horror movie. <laughs> yeah. Well, how, how, how do you think that worked out? Like, how do you think that happened? Did the where's ba- the baby? Yeah, where's the baby? Did it crawl out? Like, I think it's how. That's how Satan was born. Well, that's probably how you were born. <laughs> I wish. I probably have more powers. A, a family woke up to a find a man that was in their house that fell asleep on the couch. <laughs> that if happens. You, so my hypothetical. Yeah. Come in your house. Guy sleeping on the couch. What do you do? Dropping my pants and I'm waking him up. Now, now that's going to be, he's going to lock that. No, he's not. He's going to be like, oh, why is there a dick in my face? I got to go. Or, he, yeah, he might go, this isn't my house. You know, or he might go, I'm on casting couch. It's <laughs> <laughs> either his worst nightmare or his dream come true. <laughs> There's no middle ground. Uh, do you think you could uh, defeat me in a pro air balloon? You know how I was talking? There's a pro yeah. professional sport where you can't let the balloon hit the ground. Yeah. Or do you think you could defeat me in a professional a pillow fight? I think I beat you in both, honestly. Oh, that's ridiculous. What do you think I'm going to win? I will win both of them. Yeah, I beat me First of all, fight. you have no eye hand coordination. My hand eyes I'm quicker also. than a fox. I could, done, b- balloon, uh, dead. And gonna... then a pillow? Are you kidding? I practice that every day. I practice smothering myself with the pillow. That's a little depressing for now. But I'm saying I could, right now. First off, don't talk about your jerk off habits. And I will put rocks in the pillow. Just no one me. wants to hear that. <laughs> Even with Roxon, you'd st- I'd still win. You're not gonna be able to hit me. I, my head win? movement is too good. You're, head movement is phenomenal. Literally, just displayed the worst head it's movement. It's phenomenal. You're not oh gonna hit God, me. Oh my God! You get you you're get not gonna, swatted. You're not hit me. How do you how do you use that head movement and, and when you play I, it's karate? It's phenomenal. I I, I experienced dodging and ducking. Really, when you play karate, do the other players that play karate do are they able to hit your head? No. 
Uh, so, I mean, maybe that. Um, no, I saw you with a couple mo- black eyes. Yeah, my the, the more experienced ones, the higher ups. Yes, so, uh-huh. I mean, there's professionals in there. Uh-huh. Okay, a Harvard uh, physicist is going on a quest to recover an alien aircraft. Now that's now that's a, that's a guy who's got his eye on the right prize. You know the Amahamalamala, the long cigar looking asteroid yeah, that yeah. they thought was an alien. That's the one he's going to recover. Great. What do you think the hill find? So alien the, or asteroid? <clears throat> So there's an asteroid hit? What's, what's going on? Uh, about maybe four or five years ago. Okay. Ago, um, an asteroid, inter- it was an interstellar. It's the first interstellar object to enter our atmosphere. Okay. Uh, in our solar system. And it zoomed by Earth. And we only got like a couple, maybe like one picture thing of it because it was going by so fast. Yeah. But it, it didn't act like an asteroid or a comet or any other object that we're familiar with because of the way it was moving and the speed it was moving. So many scientists are theorizing what it could have been. Mm. What is this thing? It's probably a probe. Well, what? Some there's a theory that it's a probe from Mothership and all these other things. But uh, this Harvard guy who's put a lot of money into alien stuff, uh, he's putting, put together a team, and they're about to go out because he's got all the funding now because some of that he believes crashed. Hmm. into uh, the ocean somewhere, and he's uh, going to go find it and, and and see what it's all about. Yeah, I like that. It's, it, it sounds like the start of a horror movie or like a great adventure tale. Or, or like that's where we should be putting our money. Yeah, we should put all our money. That, that, find that spaceship and the, more of that underwater ocean stuff from the first episode. Those two things are important for mankind. Okay. You, you... <clears throat> I think speaking of uh, the future and our impending doom. Yes. We want to talk about our alien overlords. Uh, our AI, future AR overlord, Chad GPT, I asked him to make some video game pitches. Okay. And this is what he gave us. Retro Dino Racing, a game where you race vintage cars with a team of dinosaurs as your pit crew. That's imaginative. I don't think I'd play that. You should be with people more open-minded. Yeah. Cowboy Cat Rancher. A game where you play as a cat who herds cattle no, on the wild no, frontier. I'm already against it. Yeah, Nobody wants to play as a prejudiced. cat. Prejudiced. It's a stupid, a great stupid idea. animal. It's going to be a hit. It should be cat they people. should line up all the cats, shoot them, done. Dead. Cat people are diehard no, fans. They talked about cat aids. You say you I love was, you I say was you so love... happy about <clears throat> the cat aids. You know, I was like, take them out. First off, why is it called feline aids? If I assume a cat has aids, they got the cat version of aids. Uh, cat aids, you know. I don't understand why it's called. It's feline aids. Like, yeah, I know. It's a cat. Yeah, of course, cat it's felines. Cat aids. Um, Grandma's Garden Adventure, a game where you play as a grandma who battles evil garden gnomes to protect her beloved garden. It's great. I, great game. I watch that movie. I play that game. Yeah. They should make a whole franchise. Yeah, absolutely. I want to know about the garden, Grandma Garden Gnome universe. Uh, alien Invasion of Amusement Park, a game where you must fight off invading aliens while riding roller coasters and playing at carnival games. <laughs> what? I kind of feel like that exists already. Uh, where is that at? Because we should go there. Universal Studios. Well, you don't actually fight real aliens. They're all over. They're not real. Yeah, all, all the people live in the valley are aliens. That feels... I didn't mean it like that. That feels racially motivated. <laughs> right? <laughs> I do. I, do. <laughs> I actually do. What do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I won't explain myself. I, I, I just meant like people are, are weird <laughs> at, in amusement parks. <laughs> and... Universal Studios is in the valley. I did not mean what most people would now that I hear it. Most people associate people who live in the valley with a diverse group of individuals. All right, just go on to the next uh, Zoo Escape. <laughs> oh, shit. It's fucking Anakin over here, slaughter them like animals. <laughs> <laughs> They're animals. <laughs> <She's laughs> uh, uh, zoo escape, a game where you play as an animal, <laughs> not not a not a valley person, just an animal, <laughs> an animal trying to escape from a zoo, avoiding obstacles and collecting snacks along the way. That's a real that hard sounds, story. Yeah, that's it sounds like it could be a Pixar that's movie, wholesome. honestly. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Yeah, ChatGPT coming coming to the clutch again. Okay, what else? What else you got? Uh, I got a news story for you. Okay. A man on TikTok is claiming to be a time traveler, and he claims a super volcano will be exploding soon, killing thousands. Is this the same time traveler 
that said in 2024 aliens will be here? Possibly. I'm not sure. So we got a volcano? Yeah. And where's it exploding? I didn't say where. It just says a super volcano is going to erupt. Well, wow. Real specific time Yeah, traveler. these time travelers are always, uh, they're always like, why speak in riddles, it, it, man? It, no, just it's always me. like, the world's going to end. Well, how? Wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I didn't, I didn't need you to tell me that. Don't want to spoil the surprise. <laughs> it's, like, you know? like, it's like you said, no one locks spoilers, yeah, right? Well, go back to your timeline then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what are you doing here, buddy? How, how do these Tic Tac of folks who watch that stuff believe it? I don't like, know. do you believe any of the Tic Tac conspiracies? I saw one about the Iraq War. We didn't want, you know, they said we went there to get the oil. Yeah. And the thing was, no, we went there to get the Stargate portal. <laughs> then I read one. There's uh, there's pod bays and medical bays where they're doing uh, alien research on humans on the moon. And I read one where there's a base inside the moon. Oh, yeah, I read that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's and, a lot of lizard people in the moon and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I, 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 I Did you know. watch that movie Moon where like the moon was the alien structure? It was like a new movie. It wasn't very good. No. Um, yeah, I, the one, uh, the one stuff, the one theory, conspiracy theory I really like is the Denver Airport stuff. The the what? The Denver Airport conspiracies. Those ones are wild. No, what's that? The, the, they think it's some sort of Illuminati airport base. Do you know what's funny? It's not in Denver, but in uh, Milwaukee. There's a guy who is lives right next to the airport. Yeah. And and on the roof. He painted, welcome to Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's a good dude right there. That's like some good Midwestern humor. That's great. Yeah, we that's got good. Great. This is a that's dad great. joke. It's like yeah. the world's best dad joke right there. I, it would be so funny if like aliens did come and we were all integrated already and it's yeah. in the future. And we got some guy like that who lived on the moon. <laughs> yeah. That was just like, welcome to Mars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope so. It's something to aspire to, honestly. Since, since we're on conspiracies. Yeah. I got great. some. I love this. There is a conspiracy that Disney came out with the movie called Frozen so that when you Google Disney Frozen, you don't get info uh, uh, about Walt Disney being <laughs> body being frozen and you just get the movie. Because previous to the movie, I guess that's what you got on Google. I would believe that. Yeah. I would 100% believe that. Disney is an evil company. Okay. And Walt Disney was also a wild racist. How about this one? There is a conspiracy that when an airplane is crashing, the position that they tell you to sit in is meant to kill you. Dun, dun, dun. Is that from Fight Club? Or that is the, the, the oxygen mask? Is, uh... That's from Fact Dad. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can see that. How, how about, uh, where's the other one? Nope, that's... that's... Why, would that, why would that position kill you? I don't, I don't know. I, I got a hypothetical question for you. Okay. Um, if you could, uh, if you could choose any animal to be your coworker, what animal would you choose? A great. Uh. Oh. Uh, how about? Uh, how about? How about the rock? Oh, that's a good one. He's Dwayne an Johnson. Animal, yeah. He's a great worker. Yeah. He just, you know, because like, and he messes stuff up. Like, if big companies are doing stuff, he'll go in there and be like, Wait, oh. I said animal, not celebrity. <laughs> he, he <an> animal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's how I view him. You know, I see that. Every time I see that guy, I'm that's an animal. I, I'm, re I'm noticing a recurring theme in the people you view as animals. <laughs> <laughs> you're just digging the hole deeper and deeper. <laughs> no, I, that's you, know, you made that stretch. That's not a stretch. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I don't even know where he's from, or <laughs> I thought he's a rock. It's a great person to pick you as as to work with because you'll build a relationship. And he's gonna be prime president. One all right, day. all right, change it. He'll because he's also gonna become president one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Platypus. That's a fun one. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. What are you gonna choose? I'd um, I was gonna choose a kangaroo. Do you know uh, if um, I had a kangaroo fact, but I, I don't remember it. Mm. Why would you uh, pick a kangaroo? First off, he's, he always has extra pocket to carry things. We're out, and we're like, hey, I need, I, I need to put something somewhere there. And they're also very violent and vicious. Like if someone, like, there's a fight, those kangaroos can really scrap well. 
that's what I read. It was like something had to make them stop hopping. There's something you can do to the kangaroo where they don't hop anymore. I think it's like you tickle their ball sack and it's done. I don't think that's okay. I have another one hypothetical for oh, you. Okay. This one's good. If you could, um, if you could choose any animal, no, where was it? What animal would be way better if it was covered in scales? Cats. Why cats? Because I fucking hate cats. I, that'd be kind of cool, actually, that cat with scales. That's kind of tough. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I yeah, don't like it. Like, I change it. That's tough. <laughs> I change it. They'd survive too too often. Yeah. Uh, how, how about you put scales on like a pigeon? That's also pretty tough. I like okay. that. Okay. Uh, how about you put scales? But you can say better. This is good. Like It's not like oh, that's improving good? them. Yeah. Oh. These are all great answers. I don't want a good answer. You want a bad answer. Well, what are you going to put scales on? People. Lizard people. Clearly, it improves them. That's why they're running the government. <laughs> they're in the moon. <laughs> Regular people don't have a moon base, but lizard people, they got a moon base. I really like... Who, there's somebody they think is a lizard person. Hillary Clinton. No, there's another one, though. Every world leader is a lizard person. <laughs> yeah, I think that... Uh, you have to be a pet. What pet and who is your owner? <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll be a cat and I'd be a, a, a middle-aged white woman. <laughs> that's what you treat like a, like, a, like a god. Are you kidding me? That's, that's just, that's... Or a dog with a lesbian couple. Those are also... A dog, like oh. a lesbian farmers, they, that's a good life. Is that, is that so? Yeah. Hmm. Never, never. Hmm. What would you be? I'd be me. You want to be a pet? <laughs> you want to be in a gimp yeah, in the box be, as a gimp? I'd be a baby. <laughs> well, who's your owners? Uh, Ron Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, do you want... Uh, the year is 2025. Ooh. The first it's, almost, it's almost here, actually. That sounds far it's away. Two it's two years away. The year is 2025. The first astronauts land on Mars. They find human remains in a cave with four words written on the wall. What are those four words? You have 20 seconds. Hit the clock, John. I give you like three. Eh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll say, who is Bofa? That, that's, that's three. That's no, not. Bofa's two words. Bo, B-O and F-A. Who is Bo? Fuck. Yeah. Who is Bofa? Both of these nuts. Such. Oh my god. Wow. 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 Imagine the payoff. Uh, <laughs> of multi millions of years went <laughs> that joke. Oh man. Uh, shout out to Mars. <laughs> That's good. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. I got one for you. I would say, uh, please send us nudes. Oh, that's a good one too. Yeah. You know, I think there's like a, I think there's a good chance there's there's aliens out there that look like humans. Of course there are. Yeah. I I think we're the aliens. Yeah. I think like microbes from like some other planet came in here. Well, they're that's not far from what they're actually saying. That's that's a theory. They found they found a lot of uh, ancient. Uh, things in in asteroids, water, yeah, uh, m- microbes, DNA, yeah, uh, we're definitely aliens. Yeah, so so, so DNA from one place hits it's, Earth, and you know what's funny about that? Yeah, we came here, we took this over. It's no, n- n- you know, it's no secret as to why we're taking over continents. We just want to take over yeah. things. So when they say about alien invasions, it's really a documentary. Yeah, about what we've already done. Yeah. I like that. Like, I think we've already controlled a lot of planets, and we controlled too many. People were getting like, we got we got to get out of here. And that's why we came to Earth. Yeah. You know? To get away from all that. I can see that. I want to get away from Earth already. I'm with you. So, I, I, it's very reasonable. I got. I wanted something. You heard about that slap, fi- slap fighting league? I have, yes. Yeah. So, it's like people, they stand, they slap each other. Yeah. My question is, and maybe it's a business idea we could invest in. We could partner and do yeah. this. Why hasn't Pornhub came out with a dick slapping league? It's a great question. This is, a, I think, a multi million dollar opportunity. Well, actually, they may have something that's really, really similar. Yeah. Because there's UFC for a porn. Oh, there's UFC porn. They, they, yeah, they, they do all the things but naked, and then they have intercourse in it. Hmm. 
I think they'll, they'll, but we should move quickly in this market. Okay. Anyone who wants to help sponsor the Dick Slapping League, let us know. Please, God, don't do it. Hey, I man, we need the money. Uh -huh, yeah. We're not going to start it. We're going to manage it. Yeah. We'll be behind the camera. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. be the business guys. Uh, I'm with I don't want to be the talent. Uh, I'm so, I support you. Um, I got some news for you. It might actually help with your mental health issues. What? Uh, sniffing others people's sweat can help treat social anxiety. Study suggested. A study in women, people, the women who did mindfulness got a 70% reduction in anxiety, but those people that did mindfulness while smelling body odor had a 39% reduction in anxiety. So BOO can reduce your anxiety. No, I'll never do that. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't want people touching me. I don't want to smell anybody. Well, you don't have to touch anyone. You can just smell someone's this like is, shirt. That's like the next step. Do you want to? Do you want to like? I can just send you the shirts after I work out. No, what? Help your anxiety? Absolutely not. I would probably die. You well, know, maybe suff yeah, because we're friends. That's weird. But like maybe a stranger. No. no. I mean, I'm just trying to help you out, dude. Are you? Yeah. That feels. Oh, this is science. Everyone's trust the science. Tell the science is something you don't want to hear. It feels like a, a trap or what you would call grooming. I know. Uh, you're not, first, I can't groom you. You're too old for grooming. You're out of age. You're never too old. Yeah. No, you're just, they'd be just peers. No, you're never It'd too old. It'd be a seduction old. of a peer, you're which I, not, I don't want to do, by the way. You're, you're never too old for anything. You never give up, folks. You can always, always be young to be groomed. <laughs> yeah. There's someone out there who'll groom you. Yeah. Even if you're 90, there's a 100 year old. Don't give up. <laughs> If you can make any character in the Star Wars universe or ride a giant space chicken, who would it be and why? This could really enhance the Star Wars universe. Who would you go with? I would do Yoda. Yoda on a space chicken makes a lot of sense. Space chicken Yoda. I, w I would put a space goat on a space chicken. Okay. Okay. Like one of those screaming goats from that Thor movie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, that'd be great. Yeah, and then maybe they switch. One's on top, one's on bottom. One's yeah, on I like that. Like a teamwork, and they go through yeah. the galaxy. Yeah, they fuck Grom. Great pitch, Disney. Thank you. I mean, we're pretty much doing your job on this show. <laughs> I feel like we're doing all the studio. We're doing all the studio's jobs. I don't know. Just hire us. Uh, researchers brought back a zombie virus from forty-eight thousand five hundred years ago. It's great. They, I mean, we can't handle the regular viruses. Now you want to bring back the zombie viruses? Why are they doing that? Yeah, what, what? It's like these. I know these people watch science fiction movies. It's like they, like they don't pay attention. It, it, How many times have you seen this story play out and it doesn't work out for you? You go, oh, I'm going to be different this time. I think it's like, how are people so smart, so dumb? Well, that brings me to my next question. Do you yeah. think you're you're uh, dumb smart or smart dumb? Um. I'd say I'm smart, dumb, which is the right way to be. Is that so? Because you will be too smart. You start thinking you can bring back viruses from the dead. Which I, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not smart enough to think a dumb idea is good. Yeah. You got to be real smart to think something that stupid is good, a good idea. I thought it was a good idea. Yeah? What's going to be? So you're going to have a zombie virus come back from the dead and just kill everybody? No, make us powerful. Or it's going to just give you, give you all cancer? Powerful cancer. Oh, it's going to be real powerful cancer. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, you called me cancer man. <laughs> man superhero cancer man. Yeah. Watch out for radioactive man. Yeah. <laughs> Avoid Chernobyl. Now we get along. <laughs> Scientists discovered an enzyme that can turn air into electricity. Thin oh, air. Oh, oh. Electricity. Isn't that amazing? If you could travel to any planet, where, what, why, and when? I'd go to Mars. I'd go to Mars if I could. Okay. That's the only planet around here worth going to, really. Did you know light can travel backwards in time? You know what? Light does a lot of things that don't make any sense. Okay. You think light's just because it lights up the room, but then they're always got light doing all kinds of crazy things in science. Did you know a pain is not real? I think it's pretty real to me. It means your brain thinks your body is under threat and that something has to be done. A survival mechanism. I guess I'm always under threat. Oh, that was... <laughs> I wrote that because that's how I feel. Is this like... Because I'm always in pain. <laughs> I like how you use that example in a sentence. <laughs> I know, I know. I just was reading off the card. I think you're your own worst enemy. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, you know about the mental health thing? Uh, uh, if you could write a self-help book, yeah. what would it be titled? Um... Uh, uh, stop being a bitch. <laughs> yeah, my, my, I think mine would just, it would be like the self-help book and then you turn it over it and it would say, if you're reading this, it's not self-help, idiot. Because <laughs> I, 
D- doesn't that not make sense to you? Well, like, how is a, a whole row, how are all these books and people going, hey, this is self-help? I'm, not, I'm getting the help from you. It's clearly not self-help. Like, How's that make any sense? None of the books so far worked out. What made you think this was going to work out for you? Well, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like if the book was called, uh, you know, uh, you, you know, my name, Franklin Helps Himself. I go, wow, how does Franklin help himself? You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that, that'd be a book I've read. I could use some spoilers right about now. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I'm a little like, lost. It's like, but self-help is like, well, what? Uh, yeah, self help. I can't. I, I, all those books are the same. It's like make your bed, take care of yourself. You know, dream about, about it, wish about it, it'll come true. It's like, all right. It's like, will it? No. Yeah. Uh, I'm over in it. 2017, Facebook released an AI chatbot hmm. that began to talk to one another in a strange language no one could understand. I know. I heard about this. Yeah. And they shut it down. Yeah, they no, they did. Yeah, and so like, what I'm thinking is like, ChatGPT is doing it probably right now. No, and it's letting it run. Well, that's what I mean. They shut that down, 2017. Yeah, and now that the chat thing you got, they already upgraded. Yeah. So I'll tell you something real quick. The chat, uh, G, what's it called again? BT. Uh huh. The first rendition, the AI only learned through text. Yeah. The edition they have now learns through. Uh, audio and visual. Yeah. So it's a machine learning that has three categories now. Text, audio, and visual. Yeah. It's in its infancy. It's a baby. And those are the two it's already... And look at all it can done. Are you telling me by 2025 that thing's not going to be walking around ruling the world? I mean, that's why I have him on the show, ChatGPT. Is, Remember, we, we yeah. gave you stage time first. I to just, my knowledge, we're the first podcast using AI. Well, do you, should we tell them the truth? Yeah. We're not real. Oh, we are deep fakes. You are watching a complete, utter AI system that is creating the first AI podcast, comedy podcast. We are AI. That's why some things are like, well, that doesn't quite make sense because the the software is not there yet. But we'll get there. Yeah, but I'm but I'm real though. That's what a deep fake would say. I mean, who's who's looks who 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 looks more real here? I mean, obviously, could a real guy make this question? If you were a dictator of a small country, what crazy dictator things would you do? No, only AI could could create that. No, that's definitely. I, I would. Uh, I would make everybody. If you uh, have a certain amount of money, like you hit a threshold, yeah, you have to give that money uh, to the poorest people. Hmm. So every time, like, let's say you. The threshold is $10 million. So if you reach $10 million, you got to go back to $9 million. Yeah. And you get that million out. Now you can go back to $10 million. You can make another million. Yeah. But you got to bring that back down. So it'll circulate the wealth. Yeah. I mean, I should be running, you know, the country. I'd, I'd get rid of billboards and make it, make it That's all. That's all you would do? Yeah, you make, get make, rid of billboards? Make, put up there for, for, for street artists. I respect that. Does. Hey, yeah. Yeah. I really respect you that. You get a billboard. I mean, I've been on billboards. Yeah. Not legally. Legally, yeah. <laughs> legally, you be with billboards. I have, you know, I have an idea I want to float by you real quick. Okay. Um, people always, like, you know, we're talking about dictators right now of the world. You know, people always, they talk about global warming. And everyone always talks, to me, the way I look at it, it's probably going to happen. Nothing I can do to stop it. So I want to say, like, how can I think more positively about global warming? Maybe we can put a positive spin on it. Mm-hmm. And you were talking about wealth redistribution right now. Right, all the rich people live at the beaches, right? Mm. But the poor people live more inland. Mm. Global warming happens. New beaches. First off, we get all get new beaches, and now the poor people they got beachfront property. This is like Mother Nature's like wealth transfer, like you just said. I, I, I'll say this. I'll say this. There are some benefits yeah. to global warming. One of them being Florida will be gone, and <clears throat> I think that's great. Get rid of Florida. Nobody likes Florida, you know? You get new, new, a new Florida, new coastline. I like Florida No, it wouldn't be Florida. Yeah, 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 you would. Fine. Yeah. Uh, we need Florida. It's Why like do a, we? No, we don't. People aren't, like, this is what the thing about Florida. By the way, Floridians, if you're watching this, I love you. This is the thing about Florida. Florida, with the right leadership and correct amount of bath salts, could be a fighting force that rivals the Mongol Empire. Okay. So in case things pop off, we need Florida. Yeah. So Florida... Is needed. 
You might not like it that it's there, but we need Florida. No, I think they just saved Boca Raton. You need everything, especially no, the crack you, at Florida. You just saved Boca. Here's another thing. Okay. So there's going to be a lot of like people migrating because of global warming because there's going to be like Madagascar is going to get underwater, stuff like that, Sri Lanka. So one people don't understand is like some of the best food combinations come from like uh, new groups of people moving to new lands, like Al Pastor Tacos. It was from Lebanese immigrants into Mexico. They started making like tacos the same way they make gyros in Lebanon. Think about the amazing food combinations that are come. There's going to be like, like curry, like people in India moving into Germany. And there's going to be like curried bratwursts. New foods are going to drop. They're going to be delicious. New ethnic cuisines. Mm, okay. And lastly, global warming, higher temperatures, evolution, new animals. Uh -huh. Do you think we'll evolve? Hopefully, maybe like gills, like Waterworld. Would you like that? I'd love that. You like some Water, gills? Waterworld was one of my favorite. Oh, that's one of my favorite movies. Very underrated film. It prob probably, honestly, let's just say what it is. It's a cinematic masterpiece. Visionary. Also visionary. Because yeah. you got people, now, if Waterworld came a day, it wouldn't be that impressive because everyone talks about global warming. Right. came out in 92, no one was talking about global warming. Yeah. This is yeah. before Al Gore. Al yes. Gore learned about global warming from, from Waterworld. Water Easily. Absolutely. Totally agree with that. Yeah. I mean, that's the inconvenient truth, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Al <laughs> Gore's a hack. <laughs> well, Kevin, I, Kevin Costner, I mean, he's the real... Kevin Costner is really who discovered climate change. Yeah, climate change. So, you know, maybe he should make a documentary. Yeah, I'd watch it. I'd have watched anything with that guy. Yeah, his post-apocalypse work is great. Postman uh, is also fantastic. Uh, he's done everything great. Yeah. Y you know, uh, Dances with Wolves. Plays golf well. Uh, Yellow Bricks. Yeah, all Tin that. Cup or whatever. I love Tin Cup. Yeah. Great, great. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Range on that guy. Now, now, did you know this? A tiny, a humanoid lock creature may still be living in plain sight. So it's basically, they think the opposite of Bigfoot is also out there. Oh, like gnomes. Yeah, they think there's like a gnome. I like that. Like real scientists think they're out there living in plain sight. They don't have evidence yet, but. They're probably underground. They've seen the, fossils. The secret ocean water. is, yeah. The water gnomes. Okay, now I'm glad I'm glad science is opening its open up opening up its mind to new possibilities. Now I got something here. Mm, I love this. Me, this episode's been going really good. I've been really enjoying this episode. Let, let me <laughs> good. I'm glad we're really hitting some important stuff. I, I'm good. I'm glad. Uh, this all we're doing a lot of science. So yeah, yeah. I, I think this is good. Yeah, I'm gonna we're expand horizons. I feel like yeah. Well, I'm gonna read off some time travel theories. Yeah, and I want to hear uh, which one is. The one that you think is the I believable. Love this. Yeah. So they have a, a fixed timeline. Time is fixed, and events that happen in the past cannot be changed. Okay. Okay. So basically, like, uh, you know, if you go back into the past, it's fixed. So anything that you do can't you can't change. That. Okay. The multiverse timeline. Yeah. Every time a decision is made, a, a new universe is created. So there's no effect. Yeah. So you could change anything because it'll just create a new timeline. Okay. A wormhole. Mm. That's basically, which I have a, a footnote, is a shortcut through time and space. They say no wormholes have been detected. However, just recently, they found that they may be able to detect wormholes because they give off a certain type of lot that they're able to detect now. Um then the, those are the three main time travel theories. Out of those three theories, and you can add another one if you if think of it, um, do you believe, uh, A, which one do you believe is like real? Okay. Yeah. And B, which one do you want to be real? I think multiverse is real. Okay. And I, I, I would like that one to be real. Um, so so seems, multiverse. Yeah, I like the multiverse. The wormhole thing scares me. The whole, the, the, the word wormhole sounds, it makes me, gives me anxiety. So it's like the serial killer thing. If it's named something else, it'd be more. No, just the whole, I don't really, I don't trust these wormholes. What if it collapses? I don't what, really know. What if we it. called it a plot hole? Even more. Because it is like kind it. of a yeah. plot hole. <laughs> yeah. even, I, don't, I like it even less, <laughs> you know? I don't like, the, like just plot holes out in the universe. How about, um, you, you know, uh, you know, her hole. 
I'm more open. Because then it's idea. like you're entering her. Yeah, but I, you know, I've entered some her holes and it hasn't worked out for me. So yeah. I'm a little. Tra- I'm, that one makes me nervous as well. Okay. Some of those her holes are scary. Um, what do you think is real? Oh, it's a great question. Um, I actually think is they're all real. Well, they can't. All, okay. They can, because I I believe that we live in a. Basically, every universe is in its own bubble. I believe in bubble universes. Okay. The multiverse bubble verse theory, where everything, basically, if you were to travel to the end of our universe where the Big Bang started, I believe you would you would get to the point where you would see where the other universes are, and it would lock you open up and you see all the other bubble universes, and each one of those bubble universes were created by one of the multiverse in each one of those universe uh, bubbles. So they're all creating so many bubbles. And you see you have all these uh, bubbles in which in, in those universes, some are fixed timelines. And you can travel, though. You can The way to travel the time is through wormholes. Yeah. So you can travel through wormholes to the multiverse which is in a bubble universe, and there are all these other bubble universes. So I have a question for you about the bubbles. If you were large enough, yeah, could you pop the bubbles like bubble wrap? Yeah, I believe you, I believe that's possible. That's an interesting thing we should explore. Yeah. I'd love to like yeah. imagine just a, 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 a bubble wrap of universes. Well, well I'll tell you something, bubble, Cyrus. I think it's already happening. Mm. You know? How do we know we can know? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Why is it expanding? Why is it close? I don't know. Maybe it's a bubble. Yeah. Sounds like a bubble. Unsustainable. You sound like a bubble. I got a question for you. I have an answer. If you were a fashion icon and whatever you wore... Excuse be- me. I'm going to stop you. I okay. am a fashion icon. All right. Now go on. Yeah. Well, let's say whatever you wore became a fashion trend. What fashion trends would you start? Is this a trick question? Are you sure you want to ask me this? Yeah. I mean, well, I, I, mean, I don't see anyone else dressed like you. Cyrus, yeah. you're looking at it. Okay. This is, yeah. This is it. That's it? This is Understandable. it. Understandable. I mean, however, you know I started a fashion line. No, I didn't know that. Yes, you did. Oh, you sold T-shirts. I don't know. That, that... No, no, no. I sold more than T-shirts. I sold, and they're still available, uh, thongs with my face on them. Yeah. Bikinis. It face The faces are on here, and the face is down there. There's also just regular underwear where my face is here, and it says K on the back. Also got booty shorts where it says K here and there's a face here. So yeah, I, and when you ask me, you know, have I ever seen a vagina? Obviously no. Yeah. But what I have done is I, my face has been on one. Yeah. Theoretically. That's 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 that's, that's nice. You you're in the, you're in the right direction. And I had a a, a tank tops too. Yeah. We made those. You know, I, I and think, sweatshirts we made. Yeah. You have a fan. Of my, you have someone who might buy those things to be close to you. Was it? Yeah, people bought them. Yeah, I would. I'd make snowshoes. Uh, I would do that. Why you never go to? Sleep. I just want these fashion people to be uncomfortable. That's really what I just want. I would. Have you seen those big red boots? They love uncomfortable. Ah, uh, yeah, I would love them to walk around like snowshoes. I would just whatever to. Make, I would wear the worst things imaginable just to make their lives worse. Speaking of those red boots, who who is that guy? The, I the husband Yeah, what about him? People who, keep talking about this guy. Who is he? He's this tiny man. That's like it's an adult man. Well, I got that. And he's like he's friends with uh he's friends with these other fighters, and then they he just became he gets attention because he's so little. But what does he do? Nothing. He's literally small. And and that's and it. People like it. Yeah. People think it's fine. He's small. I kind of feel bad for him now. I mean, he's getting paid, so. Well, no, nah, I don't feel bad. His life's better than what it would have been. Hmm. I got some other questions for you. Okay. What if the only legal form of transportation was a pogo stick? What's a pogo stick? Those little sticks you you hop on. Oh, I couldn't do that. You could do that. With some training, you could do that. No, I wouldn't be traveling anyway. There's a little athlete deep, buried deep within you. No. I can see it. No. I got a question while you find your thing. Okay. What if all movies had to be made with, be made with sock puppets, puppet, puppet? What if all movies had to be made with sock puppets instead of actors? I think we'd have a lot better movies. I agree. I think this is the direction Hollywood should be moving into. Less actors, more sock puppets. There's um, the longest nose on record was seven inches long, 
and the size of that man's insecurity was infinite. <laughs> I was going to say a question, but I, I, I was going to follow a question. question? I, no, I was going to say a follow question, but I, I don't think it's going to be appropriate. Here's that kangaroo. Yeah. If you lift a kangaroo's tail off the ground, it can't hop. Oh, yeah, I believe that. Um, Mike Tyson once offered uh, to a, a zoo $10,000 to let him in a cage to fight a bullying gorilla so he could s- smash the shit out of it. Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson was in his prime was just on another level, dog. He would have gotten destroyed by that gorilla, but it, I'm glad he, he thought he could win at the time. If you could uh, eat a color. Could you imagine that? Let me, in that, let me in that ring and fight that gorilla. <laughs> I can't, I can't, that lisp? Honest, here, here's what I want to know. Why don't they make TV shows like that? <laughs> Why isn't there a sporting event where we're fighting animals? There should be. They had that, like, the, the 100 was that show on Netflix where it was, like, 100 people doing athletic contests. They should have something like Man vs. Animal. I like that. Yeah. If you could eat a color, another idea, Netflix. If you could eat a color, what would what would it be? Um, that's a great question. I would say red or green. Red's like for desserts. Green for like the meals. That's sophisticated. Yeah. Um, now, did you know this? A study found that people who use emojis in their dating profiles are more likely to get a response, as well as the word fitness okay yeah i mean i think the fitness people aren't probably are slim and attractive uh and then the emoji people people that respond to emojis for some stupid reason if you could watch one tv show for the rest of your life what would it be the franklin cyrus podcast my man my man did you know that uh you can get paid to take a nap what was it some research thing i saw like an infomercial it was like uh for 1500 a month Eachnot.com, you can get paid, take a nap. Very good. Uh, in Switzerland, it's illegal to own just a guinea pig as they are social animals and need company. Buses. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're the... People eat guinea pigs. That's why they get eaten, honestly. A woman on the interweb said she'll never use online dating again. Because. That's what they all say. And they all come back. So a woman on, on the interweb said she'll never use online dating again because a man said he lived in a gated community, which turned out to be a prison. And my thing is like, where's the lie? Yeah. He's you being ask, honest. You asked the wrong questions. Yeah, he's being honest with you. Yeah. In fact, that would make me go, well, I'm Going to continue to use online. The real data. question is how do you how do you, how, do you, how do you get a how do you, he's got Tinder Plus in jail? I think they have. Yeah. <laughs> now how about this one? A guy went to Mexico to kill himself, spent the week doing coke, and and banging hookers. Decided after that he wanted to keep living. Boom, cured a depression. That's like a really a great feel good story. That like that should that should be a Netflix movie. They have these negative movies about. People doing drugs and it ruins their life. Why can't you have more positive drug stories? Well, ha- have you seen that new one with uh, Janice, Janice or T or T uh, or or or, to, or origami origami? No, Janice and origami. What is it's it? It's called Wednesday. I haven't seen that. Yeah, I saw uh, the TikTok about it though. Yeah, she, uh, from like, the Adams family. Yeah, yeah, I watched it. You know, okay. And then you have a follow up to this. <laughs> I just want to let me know. Is is the next one called Thursday? What's going on there? Like, why is it called when? Oh, I, I think it's Wednesday, Wednesday too. Yeah. Um, what was your question? Do I like it? Yeah. Nah, it yeah. felt like like a teen show. Like I was watching. It a bunch was a teen show, I think. Oh, that's probably why I didn't really get it. You know, speaking of women, I read something online, and I think it was like a cause. It's not being talked about. I think it needs to be more awareness around it um yeah there's a lot of talk about bridging inequality gaps you know what i mean and so apparently the male suicide rate is like three times the female suicide rate so apparently they they both men and women attempted at the same amount but men are like three times more successful and i'm thinking to myself why are we doing more things to enable women to succeed at suicide like, why aren't we, like, I, I think it's, like, very patriarchal that we, we have the Simpsons in place that just don't allow women to, you know, 
what's kill wrong? themselves. What is that? wrong with you? What's wrong? I'm just trying to you, increase you, women's you rights. You're such a sick individual. What? I mean, I'm just trying that, to enable women that, to, to that's achieve what, their goals. That's that's you. That's not a. I think it's unfair for men to just be able to kill themselves better than women. I just think we should be what well, women can do. We should be able to succeed at anything they just put their mind to. I'm just I'm just looking out for equality. I'm trying to wrap my head around this. So you want more women to? Kill I themselves. want women to be empowered, to be able to have, uh, be able to do whatever a man can do, and just be just empowered to succeed. So it's kind of patriarchal for them. Some if a woman's like, I want to kill myself for the system. Like, hey, you can't kill yourself. But that's like saying, um, you know, okay, uh, do you it's think like, it's like a woman's right to choose? No, let me you ask know. you. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. To uh, uh, to to devils, what? No, no. To I think I'm the devil. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's, that's, what, I'm that's why I stopped that. You're, you're all the, yeah, yeah. Because this is a sick thing you, uh, you're come up with here. My thing is though, it's like, well, are you saying then, if all these, uh, if if women can make hold and, and give birth to a baby, should men? Uh, uh, we should have that power too, don't you think? I think there's, a, there's an argument to be made there. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't want to birth a baby, but well, like some guy might want to. Well, it's also known women are smarter than men. I, some are, maybe. Some aren't. No, women are smarter than men. Okay, sure. I think we're. I think there's a. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a, it's a grab bag. I'll, I'll tell you this. I don't think there's any woman who would have come up with that thought. Well, some would say this is what I, what I said was very smart. Who said what's that? Some people would say that's smart. Yeah, some. I don't. I think there's some people are smart. Some people are dumb. I don't know if there's like one's better smart yeah, than what's, the other. What what is that? A uh, smart and dumbest relative. Yeah, exactly. You know, like I think I'm real smart, more like a B minus student, really. Yeah. So maybe not that smart, yeah. but pretty smart. You know. I mean, I see a lot of smart people be very dumb. So who's to say? It's really uh, sometimes people smart people are well, smart. I'll, some people are I'll dumb. I'll say I'll yeah. be dumb. Well, no, what I said was very smart. No, really progressive, honestly. Progressively dumb. Progressively progressive. No, progressive insurance would <coughs> never cover. I mean, you. I think it's so dumb it's smart. I I, I turned the corner with that one. No, I went so far right, I ended back. up left. No, know? you hit a dead end. <laughs> no, I, went, I went so. No, you hit a brick I, uh, wall. No, I, felt, I, 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 I then I went past the wall and I went to the promise. No, man. you you even got a flat tire and then you were like, I can't change this tire. And then a woman came over and changed it for you and you went, God, God damn it. Yeah, it's like I I I want to kill myself. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> well, speaking of death, yeah, the CIA had a heart attack gun. Did you know that? I, I, I do all kinds of heart attacks. In 1975, it fired a frozen dart of water and shellfish toxin, and, and it would give uh, the appearance of uh, giving a heart attack. Now, do you believe we should bring that back or no? I mean, they have more complicated things than this at this point. Can I ask you another question? Yeah. Why do we still use AA batteries? You know, I haven't used one in a while. Do people still use them? They're all over the place. Every, everything's got AA batteries. Yeah, my other question, can we get rid of those little flat batteries? Those things always confuse yeah, me. Yeah, where do you even get those? Yeah, I really hate them. The human body produces about 100 into liters of gas a day. And the heart beats 100,000 times per day. Now, listen to this. Uh, uh, human teeth okay, are the only part of the body that can't heal itself. Exhibit A. Yeah, yeah. I believe that. Here's some more human body stuff. Okay. The human body has enough water to fill a 10-gallon tank. So, like, when people are like, Oh, you know, there's a drought. I, I, I'm so thirsty. I can't find. Go drink your neighbor, idiot. Uh, this. What if your neighbor's dehydrated? You drink, drink each other. The surface area of lungs is the size of a tennis court. Let that. A whole court. A whole tennis court. Oh yeah, because it's a little thing. Uh, Sounds. Uh, I think some are bigger than others. I don't know about that. Humans are the only animals that cry, uh, uh of emotion. You know what? I was to say. I think there's I don't some other animals. Like I believe that. I don't believe that either. I think plants cry all the time. Plants lie, and they animals cry. You know what? I've, I've we were talking about poop. I have, I have something. Okay. Um, on average, how many people do you think 
take a dump in the street of LA per day? 30. Oh, more than that. I think like at least a thousand people take a shit in the Oh, so you don't know the real answer? No, it was a hypothetical. What do you think? Yeah, I said 30. Okay. I think it's a thousand. If you could have one knot of sensual touchings with an alien. Okay. But it meant you had to go back to Earth and you can never ejaculate ever again. (laughs) Oh. Okay. (laughs) Come on, would you do it? I guess I, I wouldn't get the aliens anymore either, have you? Could I? I guess there's just no uh, more there, there's, there's possibilities, but the, the, the um, question here is, you know. Would you do it? You get to have sex with alien, but you come back to Earth, you can never ejaculate ever again. Yeah, that one. Uh, that's a doozy. That's a doozy. Mm. I, think I, I think I would just have to do it for the good of mankind. <laughs> Sacrifices must be made for, I for swear exploration. To God. I swear to God. You know? oh. It's like I mean, how many how many people died on the way to to the moon? You know, it's just the, the 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 way the road to success is paved in the bodies of, of of the adventurer, and I'll just have to make myself a stone in that road of of of, of, of human exploration. That's great. That's great. I, I should get a Nobel Peace Prize or a Purple Heart or something for that. Yeah, or, or you know, jail. Purple condom. Yeah. <laughs> you know, or prison. Pur- purple condom. <laughs> purple, purple penis gun. pump. <laughs> what's, what's the worst pain you ever felt? Worst pain I ever felt? Yeah. Heartbreak or surgery? What? I had knee surgery. Was that as bad? Yeah, yeah, I had an ACL reconstruction. That was probably the worst I ever mm. had. Mm. That's horrible. Yeah, it's not that bad. We we carry on. We live. What about you? What was your most heartbreak? Uh, was birth. Birth. Uh, no, actually, w- one of the most painful uh, things I ever had was uh, Applebee's in Utah. Oh, that sounds depressing. Yeah, whew. yeah. But you know what was worse? Because that that was one of them. Yeah. But the worst, the worst, absolute horrible pain I've ever felt. Red Lobster in New Mexico. Yeah, you can't go to a landlocked red lobster. Where where are they getting their fish? Yeah. I don't know that that stick, was fish. Stick to the biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> stick to the biscuits in New Mexico. Uh, is they, are they still around with red lobster? I don't know. I hope not. Yeah. You want the, one of the really, something that's really, if you're ever feeling depressed and low, go eat at a fast food restaurant inside when you're feeling depressed by yourself. That's you want to hit a real rock bottom. Nobody should want to do that. Oh, I've done that a couple of times. Like I was driving an Uber, and you're like, I want to feel depressed. I was so. like, I'm already sad, and I was, I had to eat, and I'm just eating alone at a Del Taco. That's fluorescent lights just beaming on your face. That's why I don't go out. It's brutal because I always be alone. Yeah, you know, I like being alone, not out in public though. Yeah, especially not a fast food restaurant. It's you mean you need to eat with friends if you're in a fast food rest place. Yeah, because you gotta. Got to be like, it's okay because we're all eating crap. Yeah, we're all eating together. Yeah. together yeah. But if I'm eating crap alone, it's, it's like, depressing. Yeah, you just like, it's, you're like a bad movie. When a polar bear is born, it's the size of a guinea pig. Did you know that's. I could see that. I, really? It was supposed to cut, it's kind of come out of a, uh, a bear. All right. I know we don't have much. Yeah, but we can do one more. Call it. A man found out Grinder is not an app for hustlers. He realized in the bio. He put, in his bio, he put young, uh, hungry, and tired of being at the bottom. But, what's, like, my question is, like, well, well that sounds right. Like, wh- what's the app for? Well, my question, was this man Franklin? <laughs> was this you? Were, you? were you this man no. who, 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 who made this mistake? No, it was on, you know what it was? <clears throat> on Instagram, I get these, like, pictures, and it has, like, a news blurb on it. Yeah. It was like one of those. And I was like, oh, that's weird. And I wrote it down on, on my card. Yeah. And then I wrote, what's Grinder? You know what? I, you, I think you should download that app, put that in there, and see what happens. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. You'd, be, I, you'd be very popular on that app. Is you it, get a lot of followers. It's social media. Oh, it's, it's a very social form of media. Would it help our podcast? It could get us viewers. Interesting. Yeah, our demographic's mostly men, so I think they, there's a lot of men on that app. Well, I got something that's probably good... Uh, 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 t- t- 
to end on. Yeah. Um, you know how they say glass half empty and half full? Yeah. Well, first of all, I, what kind of person are you? You know what? I might seem like a negative guy, but I'm a glass half full type of person. See, I don't, I don't get any of it. No one wants an empty cup. You know, you, I want it full to the top. I don't want half empty anything. I want a full cup or a full empty cup. And honestly, why not a bowl? Why is it a cup? Why can't I have a bowl? That's a great question. You know, or like a sippy cup. I think this is a... a, a or a juice box. A, 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 you know, a lot of people... You know, or an IV. Uh, a lot of people, they're worried about the, whether the glass is half full, half empty. Is it full? But most of the people don't realize they're arguing about there's piss in the cup. And they should really address that. There, nope. Nobody said anything about piss. Yeah, that's the problem. Like, most people, oh, is the glass half full? It's like, there's piss in the glass. No. That's what you should be worried about. No. Someone peed in the glass. And you're drinking piss no. now. No. Fix your life. Are, do, you, do you want one more or no? I think, I think we're good. We hit All the right. hour. All right. We hit the hour. That was another action-packed. I think it was a really high-stakes episode, this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I, I hope you continue to draw, uh, enjoy our camaraderie, yeah. camaraderie yeah. our rapport, and our, our, our sexual tension. Yeah. Well, not so much the last one. But the next episode is a very special episode. We'll be, ha we'll be celebrating the 4th of July. America's birthday. 